Thank you, Parade, for sponsoring this video. I did it. I launched a shop, kind of. Hello. Last May, I started an entire video series all about starting an art business from the ground up. And over the next few months, I started designing products, getting them manufactured, trying to figure out logistics behind getting an art shop set up and all of that stuff. However, at the time of starting that video series, I said that I wanted to launch a shop by the end of the summer. And it is now February and I still have not launched the art shop. In case you don't know me, my name is Gabby and I do have two other jobs besides working on YouTube and art and my art business. So it makes a lot of sense why I'm struggling to launch this art shop. But just for my own sanity, I decided that it would be a great goal for me to open the shop for my patrons in February. Today is February 17th. So that is the goal. I don't know how far I'm going to get in this video, but I'm gonna bring you along with me. Let me show you where I'm at with everything. So this cabinet has everything for my art shop and the last time I worked on things, I started doing inventory counts. I already took inventory of all of my packaging materials and now I need to take inventory of all my stickers and prints. Why did I order so many of those? I ordered these things so long ago that like, I don't remember why I ordered the quantities of things that I did. Like there's some stickers that are like my favorites and I ordered less of those than other ones, but I'm sure at the time I had thoughts. So I ordered like, 60 to 90 of each type of sticker. It's kind of low-key a lot because I have eight kinds of stickers, so there's gonna be a lot on there. Look how much of my breakfast I ate. This is so me. I took one bite. And now I took two. I feel like I made some good progress today. It was just a lot of counting and somehow all of the counts that I ordered are different from what I received. They're all like more than what I ordered. Maybe it's a normal thing for manufacturers to just like give you a few extra of things. So that's cool. I love that. I still have a whole like list of things that I need to do for the shop, but that was at least some progress. So, as you might be able to tell from this video, I've been spending a lot of time working from home, which means when I get dressed in the morning, my number one priority is comfort. But a comfy outfit is nothing without comfy underwear, so let me take a minute to talk to you about today's sponsor, Parade. I used to only own uncomfortable underwear, and I just thought that's how underwear was. But a few years ago, I discovered how comfy Parade underwear is, and I've been a loyal convert ever since. Right now, I'm wearing two of my favorite staple pieces from Parade. The vintage soft scoop bralette is my current obsession. I wear these all the time. It's got adjustable straps and the band is nice and stretchy so it fits my wider rib cage and smaller chest perfectly. And then I'm also wearing their vintage high-rise briefs which feel like wearing nothing. They are so, so comfy and I love all the fun colors that they come in. If I'm wearing jeans or leggings, I also really love their ultra flattering high rise thongs. It's super hard to find thongs that don't feel like they are giving you the worst wedgie of your life, but these do not do that. They feel great. All of these styles are made with their new cotton material, which is breathable and stretchy and also uses 95% less water than conventional cotton. You deserve to have comfortable underwear. So use my code TOFU40 for 40% off site wide to upgrade your underwear experience. They sell out quick, so if you've been waiting for a sign to go get yourself some new underwear, this is it. Thank you so much to Parade for sponsoring, and now let's get back 
to the art shop. I just spent three hours trying to print the right documents to get my P.O. box keys, but I have them now. Yay. Maybe people have been warning me and I've just been ignoring it, but I feel like I needed more of a warning that every step of this process, you might mess up once or twice. For example, with this P.O. box, I paid $200 online to get it this morning. Then on the form this morning, it told me bring two forms of ID, one with your name and one with your address. And so I did that. And then I showed up and the lady looked at me and she goes, do you have anything with your business name on it? And I said, no. So then I had to go back. I feel good. Kind of feel like I just spent my whole day getting the keys to a box. <laughs> um... Also, look at this. By committing so much of my mental energy to this art shop, my apartment, always a mess. Always a mess. And like, part of me feels bad because I'm like, I should probably prioritize, you know, keeping my space clean, taking care of me. Um, and then the other part of me feels bad because I'm like, Gabby, you promised your patrons that you were gonna open the shop in February. So it's kind of like a lose-lose right now with this mentality, so I think I need to fix it. I don't know, I'm just struggling mentally. Can you tell? Yeah, I don't know. I think all of this was just like maybe unrealistic given the fact that I'm still working two other jobs. Maybe that's my problem. Probably it is that. I need to weigh this. 0 0.7 ounces to pounds. Pounds. You guys will never guess what happened. I had therapy and now I feel better. Time to count tote bags. Wow. Okay. I need to hit the gym. I'm gonna um just, you know, move all of this. My couch is clean. Perfect, let's get started. This box has been sitting in my closet for, I don't know, since August. This is what the zipper pouches look like. They're super cute. Unfortunately, the screen printer did get a little like speck on most of them, so I don't think I can get it out. It kind of sucks because these were honestly one of my most expensive items to manufacture, but like, I don't think I can sell these without a discount because I'm not really happy with how they turned out. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate these into like a A grade and a B grade, and I'll add those two options on the website. I have like no A tier ones. Wow, this one is like perfect. Not a single spec. Okay. Well, this is my A tier. I have three. My B tier, um, all of these basically just have that little spec right here and that's it. And then my C tier where they have a spec and like some other thing that's wrong with them. I only have two C tier ones, so that's great. Now I'm gonna just test out all the zippers and then ideally I'm gonna find a place for these in my little cabinet, we'll see. So I'm just gonna be here zipping and unzipping. Twenty-seven? I thought I had thirty of those. Remember to drink water. Okay. Let's see. Right now I have a bunch of backup backing boards in here. And I feel like I should move these. So let's move these out. Oh, here's my packing tape. I think oh, I should just lay them flat. Do something like that. <laughs> Sorry, that was stupid. Cool. Now I don't know where I'm gonna put all this other stuff. We will address that once I have the tote bags. You know what I need? 
I need to go get something. Winnie! Oh my god! You're so cute! Wait, where are you going? She left me. Let's get rid of this lint. I've seen people do this. Hopefully it will effectively clean my tote bags. I think I'm definitely going with a different manufacturer next time for the tote bags. But you know, you live and you learn. It's the theme of this video, isn't it? I feel like I am on the brink of like great change in my life you know what i mean like i just kind of feel like i have changed a lot on the inside in the past year like i was watching one of my old videos and i was like oh my gosh i am so different from that version of me that is on the screen right now i think opening the art shop is going to be a really great step towards seeing some changes in my life because like this is something i've been planning for so long and seeing it actually come to life and actually start happening is just like so so exciting and like i just never really thought i would have enough faith in myself to actually do this so that's kind of me being corny uh whatever <laughs> now it's time to count Ugh. I'm trying to keep good posture while doing this. <laughs> Shit, I stopped counting. Okay, I don't know. Is this gonna be satisfying? Look how much fuzzies I got off. ASMR, tofu ASMR. Oh my God, I almost dropped it. Okay. with this box is going to be to have tote bag storage and zipper pouch storage. Now, how am I going to separate sections? I was thinking the other day about how like, man, it would have been really cool if I had like gone to art school and started pursuing my dreams when I was like 18 versus 26. The more I think about it, the more I think that I have gained like really valuable life experience and skills from having a non-art career um, and being able to apply things that I've learned from my engineering degree, for example, to how I run my business. If you're like me and you are creative but you got a degree that was just for like a reliable career, I don't think that's something to be ashamed of. Like I think that's a very reasonable thing and in a way it helps your art because you're able to financially support yourself while working on art on the side so yeah i don't know i think it's all perspective and obviously there's so many right ways to go about it because there is no wrong way you know those are my deep thoughts now i'm going to keep folding tote bags lift with your legs I feel like this might be. Yep, avalanche. Okay. Oh! I lost these for a long time. Nice. Let me give you an updated tour of the cabinet. Up here is where my art prints are. They're all in little like glassine bags to protect them. These are my backing boards. Ooh. Stickers. Glassine bags, envelopes, stamps, mailers of various sizes. And then I have my zipper pouches down here and they're labeled according to grade. I put like 10 notepads in this thing of prints and then the rest are down here. And then I have my printer and my scale and some bigger mailers. 
So this plus that closet is the entirety of my art business right now. Pretty freaking cool. I'm very tired now. I think that like therapy days just take it out of me, you know? And now I'm going to go get some takeout food. So that's very exciting. I got some Greek food. Hello. Hi. Hi. So I'm working on my website right now. I split it up by category now, and I think it makes a lot more sense. And now I'm just kind of going through and seeing like if the pictures I picked look good and stuff like that. Everything is taking shape though. It's really cool to see. Like I'm on very much the final steps. I think another thing I want to do today is I just want to go through and make sure that all of my product descriptions look good and make sure that I have all of the like shipping information on here that seems necessary. And now someone is playing loud music and I have side bangs, so. I feel like I could have done a better job with these. Um, a lot of the pictures aren't very well lit. <laughs> And I don't really know if I knew what I was doing with my camera settings when I took these. <laughs> no, I'm talking to the vlog, I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Why didn't I crop these? That was so silly of me. I also, I really want to play Tears of the Kingdom. Are you talking to me? <laughs> no, I'm talking to the camera. But I could be also talking to you. We're having a group discussion. Do you have any thoughts you want to share? You see how this is confusing for me? I do, I do see how this is confusing. I can't tell. <laughs> I was filming. I am currently working on updating file sizes for my imprint shop. I do think I am going to launch my shop only for US and Canada at first, and then I will have my imprint shop available to everyone. I don't know if this is a perfect solution, but it is my solution for now, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I think they're just like, oh, didn't Bethany their rent? <laughs> like, not actually true or beneficial there might be a better I think that this process is making me realize how particular I am with my art I'm noticing when like the center of my image is a little bit off from the center of the card so when I'm noticing these things that are off I'm going back into procreate fixing the files and then I'm re-uploading them and now I'm going to order some samples from imprint because I just want to Get the actual products in my hands. I am able to get like discounted samples from them, so that's nice, but I think it's gonna be about a hundred dollars before shipping. So I am going to shut up now and order these, and then I'm probably going to ice my whole left arm because all of the like mouse trackpad usage on my laptop has been making my tendonitis flare up, so that's cool. I guess this is what it means to be 26. I actually just the other week was thinking about like, man, I don't think I've ever experienced art block. And the more I think of it, the more I think I've actually been in like a two month, three month long art block. And I just didn't realize it. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I'm just not drawing a lot because I'm busy and I don't have any ideas and drawing seems like a lot of work right now. Is this what art block is? 
or am I off? I don't know. And it's really crazy to think about the fact that that was how I was feeling while also working on an art shop. Like, the whole center of everything that I've been working on on the back end has been my art. However, I've only been working on like the back end of things. Hello. I have very exciting news because I think today I finally got to a point where I could launch my shop. There's a little glare on my screen, but I hope you can still see. So this is my homepage, it has my little logo on the top, and it says, welcome to my grand opening. You can shop by category, or I just start showing a bunch of products on here. Um, I also have a little about me page. I'm also gonna start an email list. I don't know what exactly I'll use it for. I'm guessing shop updates and announcements I will send to that list. I figured why not? I also think that I did like a really good job on the product descriptions. Like I'm really proud of how it all turned out. I'm hoping that by opening it to my patrons first, I can get feedback on if they notice anything being off in the shop. I'm going to do a little test order and then I think tomorrow I'm going to post something on my Patreon, giving them the password to the site. So crazy. I'm so grateful for literally every single person that sent me an encouraging word through this process because, oh my God, doing this is so much work. Guys, guys, dude, I've gotten three orders. Oh my gosh, wait, how do I see? How do I see what people ordered? I did it. I launched a shop, kind of. It's live to my patrons now, and within the next like week or so, I'm gonna open it up publicly. And that is that. Hi, it is me from the future here to tell you that what I just said in the video is lies. I don't think it's gonna launch until the end of March, early April, because something very, very exciting is happening in my personal life and I can't wait to share it with you guys. If you've been waiting a long time to order something from me, that is so cool and thank you so, so much. But it's just gonna be a little bit longer and I don't anticipate anything is gonna like sell out from just my patrons. I hope you liked this weird little outro segment. Okay, now back to the video. This is, I guess, the official conclusion of my setting up my art shop series, which has been going on for like a year on my channel. And I finally did it. I finally launched a shop. People are able to spend their real dollars on my artwork. Wow, wow. Thank you so much for being there with me throughout this process. It's been a long learning journey and I still don't really feel like I know what I'm doing. And I think that is a lesson we can all take away. Even when you're doing it, you don't feel like you know what you're doing. Thank you so much for watching. If you've watched until this point in the video, you rock. And I wanna take a moment to thank my patrons. I appreciate you guys so, so much. If you wanna check out my Patreon, I make exclusive videos, podcasts, and digital downloads every single month over there. So yeah, check it out if you're into that sort of thing. And until next time, remember that you rock and you can do anything you put your mind to. Okay, I gotta go. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, bye. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, it is me from the future.